Hello, my name is Mike Flanagan, and I own and manage two key areas for Pivot Technology Solutions. One we call the Integrated Services Portfolio, and the other one we call the Innovation Factory. And I'm going to talk to those. And I'm going to talk to disruption in IT and in business. So in 1880, Eastman Kodak was founded. And for 120 years, it was a healthy company. It grew its revenues to about $11 billion. A few years later, the revenues were less than a billion dollars because it was disrupted. They were in the photograph industry. And digital cameras came out. And by the way, digital cameras got disrupted by the infamous smartphone. Black, black, or, I'm sorry, Blockbuster, in its heyday, had 9,000 retail stores and was healthy. And guess who disrupted them? A mail order company, because they were in the VHS, DVD, rental business. A mail order company by the name of Netflix disrupted them. And by the way, Netflix disrupted itself by doing video streaming. <laughs> June 2016, Chuck Robbins, Cisco CEO, he announced that they've begun a new journey. They are going to morph into a software company. In my industry, that is huge because they are a hardware behemoth of $48 billion worth of revenue. And we had to take that seriously because it affects where we're going to go. So we decided that we, we would change directions and we set up this innovation factory. So in my role, I am fortunate to meet with a lot of leaders, CTOs, CIOs, business leaders, even chief innovation officers. And I always ask, what are your top two or three? And, I, and I've been keeping this since 2005, by the way. And I always get two or three of, the, of, the, of what you're going to see. First and foremost, reduce cost. We need to reduce our, reduce our costs. And I change that to increase value because when you reduce cost and you bring, it, bring your budget down, you have a hard time getting that back. The second is sorry, improve user experience, or what we call UX. One of the clients I, I, I deal with and have worked with for, for many years, he owns, he, his business has 65,000 65, associates. And he said, you know what, Mike? I don't have two. I have one. I want 65,000 smiles. Because when I go in the elevator, it's not the help desk. It's the helpless desk. I need to fix that. The next is IT-driven business alignment. IT has always had a hard time aligning with the business. Next is increase, increase speed to market. How do you take a solution and service and bring it to market faster? Because outside of, of IT, outside of the business, it's, it's happening much faster than they can deliver. And last but not least, leap to next gen technology. When we go into an RFP, and that's a bid response, one of the things that I always hear from the leaders is, Mike, we don't want to be iterative. We don't want to take steps to get to the next phase. We want to leap into the next gen of technology. So keep these five things in mind for the next couple of slides. So IT is standing there going like this. There are two forces that are really pressuring them. One is called consumerization. Another one is this, this fourth revolution era, and I'm going to explain that in a second. So what if... When I, when I sit with these leaders, and by the way, I have met in the past three years with over 150 of them. And I, I love it because I get so much feedback and it, they make me smarter. What if you had your own quadrant, your digital transformation quadrant? How would that look? So if you take those five things that I mentioned earlier and use that as your litmus test, plus you add security because that's kind of big in our space, and you use that to validate where you are and where you want to go, and you built this quadrant where if you go up the left side, what happens is as you get towards the top, what you're doing is you're improving experience. And down the right side, if you go down the right side, you're evolving and you're taking advantage of technology and you're innovating. And you've got four sections. You have what is called BAU, business as usual. That's kind of your starting point. You have this focus, focus section 
where if you're focused on the end user and you're bringing better value, you have this advancing section where you're, you're taking advantage of technology and then you have this leading. Whatever you put your things in there. And as you see, oh, I'm sorry. Um, up top, you see the consumerization, that's the pressure. And with consumerization, if, if the way to, to describe that is 2007, the iPhone came out. In 2010, the iPad came out. And with all the applications and all the capability and the things like Facebook, your experience at home with technology was much more powerful. Prior to that, you would get better tech at work. So IT really started seeing the pressure. Then on the right side, what you see is the revolution. And you see cyber physical systems that went from steam to cyber physical systems. And that's really talking to cloud. It's talking to autonomics, predictive fixing, taking advantage of those technologies which are very disruptive in our space. So you got that pulling IT, and then you got consumerization pressure in IT. So when you look and you look at the first quadrant, it's kind of your starting point. It's business as usual, and I, and I have my, my device standards. I got my standard data center. And then how do I evolve that? So if I'm the guy that owns that insurance company's infrastructure and want to change the user experience, I'm going to focus up in the quadrant up top, and I'm going to look at persona-based modeling, BYO. I'm going to look at, at portals and launch them to change how you do business and your experience when you, when you basically interact with IT. If I'm one of the ones that want to drive cost out, I'm coming down to the right and, and doing some automation, leveraging technology that, that either optimizes my processes or, or reduces or takes out work. And if I really want to evolve and get advanced, I'm going to go on top right, northeast. And what I'm going to do is leverage other technologies with, with processes. And you can see, you'll see things like Yap, your own password. When I walk up to my computer, I automatically log on. Things like that I bring to the business, bring, bring services that really change how people feel if I'm really trying to drive it. So whatever these things are for you, you have to define them. But the key is to take the list that you see to the, I guess, your left, and you qualify them because you can't do it all. This is a short list of what it really looks like. It could be 100. Our industry is so disruptive, you can't keep up. So you have to stay focused. So one of the things that one of the clients told me, we're in a conversation, and he said, we started talking about our kids for some reason, and he said this, and it stuck with me. You know what I told my son is if you don't have a goal, and a plan, you're wandering. In this space, and, and you're dealing with disruption, and you're trying to evolve your technology, if you don't have a framework and an execution engine, by the way, we have one we call Center of Excellence Program, this innovation factory, and we, le we leverage, we develop the whole framework, you're truly, in reality, you're wandering. And you're being hopeful that you can move your company forward. And we all know, in reality, in IT, hope is really not a strategy. Thank you.